let's start off first question, right? And I know this one, I'm ready for this one because last time when we hit it, I was not ready for it. Uh, so it is a very powerful answer. And uh, can you talk about a teacher that inspired you and why? Yes. So I would like to talk about my first grade teacher, Mrs. Bogus. Shout out to Mrs. Bogus. Okay, we're doing it early. I'm not doing it after. <laughs> Uh, like so this, this is kind of like the, the <laughs> old school Will Ferrell kind of like, right. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just really okay. felt that. It was good. Um, I like it. So in order to fully, I think, feel the impact that Mrs. Bogus had on me, I need to go back and share a little personal story. Uh, so when I was in kindergarten, actually, my dad was diagnosed with chronic myeloid leukemia and um, he battled cancer through uh, the winter into, into the winter of my first grade year. And I can still remember when my mom had to come home and share that just impossibly difficult news with me that he had passed away. And I can still picture myself sitting in the bedroom with her. There was a canopy bed and, you know, I had a nice quilt um, on my bed, and brown shag carpet. And I could just see my little self sitting next to her. But I, didn't, I remember that, but I don't remember the words. But she remembers it very vividly. And as she shared this difficult news, um, the way she describes it is that my very small little self like flies off the bed and runs to the window and overcome by um, grief. Um, you know, my face is hot, tears pouring down my face. Like I'm pulling the blinds off of the window. I mean, that's just how much feeling was in my little body. Mm -hmm. Like I was able to pull them off the window. And I turned around to face her. And my first question to her out of any anything. My first question was, are we going to have enough food to eat? Mm -hmm. And that's a really difficult part of the story for me to share, but I, I find it important to share because I think sometimes we get really caught up in talking about, oh, we're preparing these kids for the real world. Mm -hmm. um, that's very real. There's not, doesn't get much more real than that. And so for two weeks, I stayed home with her. Uh, this reality that, you know, a parent could be taken from me forever was very vivid for me. So we clung to each other in this very difficult time, but eventually I had to go back to school. And I remember the day that I had to go back to school was a nerve wracking one. And I was very anxious about going back and I can picture her little powder blue Toyota Camry driving me around the circle drive to the front of the school. And I turned to, you know, walk out the door and I'm thinking, wow, it's going to take a Goliath level strength to get this door open and step out this door. Mm -hmm. And I look up and my first grade teacher, Mrs. Bogus, had a bunch of my friends from my class waiting for me at the front door, their little faces pressed up against the glass, cheering for me and waiting for me and beckoning me to come in as if they were rolling out the red carpet for my re-entry into school. And what I love about that story is that she took something that was impossibly difficult um, and she knew exactly what I needed to have the strength to come back. She turned it into a celebration and she created um, a very special moment for me. So, uh, and she really had my back multiple times that school year. And I think that, um, you know, there's lots of little stories of teachers who are doing that every day. They probably, like, she might not even remember that story. Um, but like, I'm almost 40 years old. I'll be 40 in June. Like, and I still like very vividly, that Mrs. Bogus story is like a big hallmark story um, for me in my lifetime. There, And you, you know, there's no way she doesn't remember that. I know that too, right? Like, and I think that part of it too is that we go through that as educators, um, you know, with our kids, we go through that process and how uh, just, it's just amazing. I actually like, I'm wearing a hoodie and it has a pocket and I'm like holding my hands. Uh, just, just, just so much feeling in there because like, like you said this beautifully too, this is not just the story of your teacher, but so many teachers that have done this for kids that, don't get appreciated. Don't, you know, feel that uh, welcome. So I want to give the just amazing, give that for all the teachers that made that impact. And so that, that story, I just, it's so powerful. It, it is, you know, um, something that I think about too. And, and, and the other thing you said too, and I think it's, it's really powerful, um, is that notion of like, people talk about like, Hey, we got to make things relevant and you know, how like you now kids are dealing with some pretty real things too. And I think sometimes not acknowledging that uh, is hurtful to them. And you know, that, that that's something I, I'm not going to build on it anymore. I just, I think that story is just amazing. And I so appreciate you sharing that because I know it cannot be easy to actually share that. So thanks for being, I know 
you love you love you some Brene Brown, so thanks for being vulnerable. <laughs> right?